Hey guys, Comic Uno, and today I am reviewing Ultimate Comics X-Men issue 14, Divided We Fall. This is the first issue for um, the Ultimate Comics story arc, and um, this is really a big story arc. Um, it's been really interesting, really been building up um, through this whole entire X-Men series, and it's just been really, really interesting and very different, I would say. Um, it's, it's a spin of, I would say, the American Civil War, with mutants and modernized because that's the best ex really uh, way I can explain this and it really is interesting and instead of united we stand it's divided we fall and it's just really interesting story arc um, and I don't know if I'll be following the other Ultimate Comics store um, issues for the story arc but for X-Men it really centers for the X-Men because it has to do with the mutants um, I'm definitely going to be following this story arc with Ultimate Comics X-Men and Ultimate Comics Spider-Man since I'm already following that series. Um, but before I talk about this issue, I um, just want to give you a little update. Um, this whole weekend I'll be having uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday uh, Comic-Con news, talking about Comic-Con, what came out of Comic-Con that day. So um, even though I'm not personally going there, I just want to talk about what news came out of the con, you know, and just tell my opinion about it. So I'm um, definitely excited to see what happens from there. But let's talk about this issue of Ultimate Comics X-Men issue 14. Um, you guys know I'm a big Kitty Pryde fan and she's been playing a really big part in um, this whole entire Ultimate Comics X-Men story arc and really this whole entire um, mutant war. She plays a big part. She's a big leader in this issue and we don't really get to see Kitty Pryde as a leader. So um, if you're a big Kitty Fry fan, you're going to definitely be excited for this issue and really pick up last issue because that was really good. And this art for this issue is really good and got me excited because I'm personally a really big Kitty Pry fan. been a Kitty Pry fan um, for years now. So definitely really like seeing her in the spotlight because you really don't get to see her that much in the spotlight um, in the regular universe. But let's see what's going on with this issue. So in this issue, we get to see, um, you know, really America dividing, like I said, um, uh, uh, states coming out of the Union, uh, it really, like I said, it really is like the American Civil War, modernized with mutant. You get to see that a lot in this issue, you know, big, divided, we fall, page, really love that, um, really, really love that, chapter one, that was awesome, I, when I first turned that page, I'm like, oh, I never really saw that with the story arc, um, also, we get to see, like, Kitty Pryde, you know, and really, uh, Jimmy Hudson, um, Iceman, and Rogue, they're all going on this road trip to go to the South, you know, state a war, you know, saying that, try and protect the mutant kind. Um, we get to just see their journey going, um, to the South, um, trying to stay away from, you know, people, you know, regular humans who are trying to de defeat the mutants and try not to make mutants go to the South. And then someone finds out they're, they're mutants, or at least we figure that they find out because there are bullets in a diner while Kitty's trying to find, uh, trying to call uh, the Human Torch, uh, Johnny, and there's all bullets coming out of the diner. So, first of all, Johnny um, is captured, even though he's not a mutant, so that's a big cliffhanger. And again, do these um, humans who are trying to attack the mutants know that Kitty and her group are mutants? Um, so this issue was pretty solid. I think it's more of a, a lead-up issue, more of, it's not really a filler issue because you need this issue, uh, but it's definitely more action is going to come and issues to come, but this is more like we're going to the war. Kitty really, you know, trying to figure out, oh, am I doing the right thing? Am I, I have to be a leader. I, I will sacrifice my life for this. Um, you know, you really get to see her uh, change as a character. If you read Ultimate Comics Spider-Man with her character, um, she changes a lot as a character and really taking a leadership role and really want to protect mutant kind. And um, I really like her character in this issue and last issue. And I think this whole entire story arc is going to be really good for her character in the Ultimate Universe. Um, so if you're a good, really big Kitty Pryde fan like I am, as you can see, I have a couple of Kitty Pryde stuff over here. I have that. I should have more Kitty Pryde uh, posters. But um, I've been a really big Kitty Pryde fan for a while, so this is really, this whole entire story arc is really good for a character. And um, pick this up. It's really good. And this seems like a story arc that hasn't been done, you know? And especially in the Ultimate Universe, you, you know, anything can happen. So uh, this could be really a lot of deaths, a lot of changes to the Ultimate Universe. It's like, what's going to happen to the mutants? Are people really going to try attack on mutants? Are, they, are the mutants going to stand up and say, you know, we didn't do anything, you know? 
Um, why are you trying to kill us? You know, so it's going to be a big war, but it looks so interesting. And I really can't wait to see more from this whole entire series, from this whole entire story arc, aftermath of the story arc. Um, really should be interesting. Again, pick this up. Um, it was a little slow in this issue, but again, it's just a lead up. It's not, it's not, um, you know, the big war. It's not the big, it's just leading up to where Kitty and her group has to go, you know? So I give it a four. It's a solid issue and it's understandable why it's slow, you know? So, uh, pick this issue up. I say, I give it four stars. Pick this up definitely um and this is also a good jumping on point because it is the beginning of a story arc so if you haven't been reading ultimate comics x-men pick this issue up good starting point and i hope you guys enjoyed this is comic uno and guys don't forget to follow me on twitter um for comic uno and the random situations in the description below there'll be a link for uh both comic uno and the random situations twitter so i hope you guys follow me and uh this is comic uno hope you guys enjoyed i say pick this up and i give it four stars see you guys